So you organized this uh, this trip uh, to uh, to Israel. Tell tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So this is um, kind of I fell into this a little bit. So um, I you know I had a colleague, a law prof a lawyer who I know, a patent lawyer. Um, he went to Israel on an, um, and visited the October 7th sites so of the massacres yep. and atrocities and, in January. And so when I saw him at a conference in March, I was kind of telling him how, you know, I was really impressed that he did that. And I was somewhat, you know, and I said, you know, I really wish I could do that. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I did this through the World Jewish Congress. They've been organizing these missions. So, you know, I can connect you with them. And so he did. He just did a, you know, introduction email. And um, I had a meeting and a Zoom meeting with them in April and and they mentioned to me, in addition to, yeah, you can join one of these missions. They said, well, we just did a mission for some federal judges. And um, and I said, oh, well, you know, that's really interesting because, you know, I know a lot of law professors and it would be really good to do have law professors go because we sit at this intersection of academia and kind of policy real world. And so we can kind of take what we learn and kind of deploy it in writing and op-eds and things of this sort. And so they said, great. So you organize, you you collect the professors. And if you have meetings you want to propose to us, we'll help organize it. And we'll do all the logistics. And so it was kind of this nice little union. Um, it ended up being a lot more work, as always, planning these things than I expected. I ended up having to email about 180 people. But I got, we got 13 also, people. That many, that many law professors. Yeah, that many law professors. And almost all of them, almost all of them said, I would love to come, but I already have either a conference I've committed to speak to or a family trip in the summer because yeah. it was two months away. It was two and a half months. Yeah. Away. We all plan our calendars way out in advance. So, um, so, I, so we also ended up with 13 professors um, and, and it was a, uh, you know, the purpose of it was to, to bear witness to October 7th is the term in Judaism, you know, to, to a fact finding mission about what actually happened on October 7th and to speak with officials and lawyers um, there in, um, in Israel about kind of, what's been happening since then, what's been going on in the international institutions and things of that sort. So, uh, so how did, how, how many people went and how did it go? Yeah. So it was 13 total professors. Um, five of us, it was our first time in Israel. Uh, four of the professors were not Jewish. Um, so it, it was, a, um, and it was a wide range of people with, their, you know, some intellectual property people, because that's what I do, but there yep. were con law yep. people and others. Um, and, um, it was and it was a very intense experience, um, sure. really memorable. And you know, this term, you know, once in a lifetime and things like that is often overused, but it really was. So, um, it ended up being kind of a, a bonding experience for all of us. So three and a half days start started in Jerusalem. Um, then second day was down south um, at the uh, October seventh sites, um, and then third day was in Tel Aviv with meetings. With uh, in the morning we watched. The film of the the of the Hamas atrocities, and then uh, and we met more with uh, uh, officials and lawyers um, uh, in a tell you it ended that night, and then I flew back the next day. Yeah. Okay. So a quick, a really quick trip. Mm -hmm. How did how did the other professors who hadn't been to Israel or had never been there before? How did how did they take it all? Everyone was blown away. Um, I mean, we all it, it, we all came away from the trip like with a much deeper appreciation, especially for those of us, it was our first time uh, of, yeah. of Israel and what Israel represents, uh, you know, the, the good aspects of Israel, uh, of, of Israel. I mean, you know, it is this beacon of Western civilization and, and, and just a total area of the world that is utter barbarism. And yep. that's why, and that's why it's attacked. That's why it's, it's constantly being, you know, savagely attacked. Um, and, um, um, and, um, you know, so you know, and it really it it really was one of those experiences uh, be, that was ended up being even more important than any of us could have realized because we have all read reports and we've all read descriptions of what happened on October seventh and we've all kind of and I've watched many online videos shared and things of this sort, but yeah. to actually be there um, and see these things and hear from survivors and hear from soldiers what happened it was uh, entirely different experience.